Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. There is a lot of time passed since I released my last video in English. So this video already collects uh, 1000 views. And as I can see you are really interested in the content of this game. And I am really appreciate for your activity. You, uh, press the like button and leave a comment. So what this video is gonna be about? As most of you already mentioned, or you already played, uh, we have a new event at Islands. So let's talk about this event. I'm trying to explain some basic stuff and talk a little bit about the last update that launched us the, this event. The first stage is a registration. Tell your R4, R5 that you want to be accepted to the event. The only ones who can register you is R4, R5. And my personal advice, uh, make sure by yourself that I actually did it. Uh, if you in an active alliance, there is a lot of players, a lot of males that come around these days. So make yourself a favorite and check by yourself if you actually in. When the event will finally start it, your castle will be teleported to the new area. But at the beginning all the castle of your alliance will be at this area, it's your safe zone. Of course the castle of the, your opponent will be on the other side of the map, it's their safe zone. If you're not relocated and not live in this zone, uh, you are actually safe, nobody can attack you there. So if you low at time or at army, you can stay there and uh, gather a resource or just join the rally when someone calls you in a chat. At the beginning you have 10 minutes of prepare stage, when everybody needs to join the event and relocate to this map. When you look at the map, you have a timer under every object. The first two buildings they'll be able to capture is a recall object. After a minute they will be able to capture the altar object, four objects that will be open at the same time. After another more minute they will be open the temples and the last one that will be opened is our central object. And if the last update was released as it should be, and everything was working well, here I will be sure to tell you that you need to choose one of the objects that you want to capture, or check your opponent, try to understand the number that you see in the list of the members, and if you can beat them or it uh, will be a hard fighting, choose a strategy that will be matched to you. Instead of that we will talk about uh, the problem that make this event not playful. The first huge problem is the matchmaking. And here I wanna ask, because I don't have any logical answer why the developers released this event with such a matchmaking system. This system is a crazy random, it's not based on any data of your alliance. As you see, uh, we was a full registry players at our alliance and our opponent was much less player but still they get us as their opponent. The other point is our total might. We have much more total might than our opponent, same as the number of the Hajj castle. And at this moment I should stop for the second and tell that in no case I try to insult our opponent. They played very well and tried to do their best with what they could but they didn't should get us as their opponent, they should get someone with a familiar data of the aliens. And our case is just one example for a lot, a lot examples that I saw in the last days at the Discord, or Facebook and, and personal conversation with other players from the other kingdom that I know. And most of those people are pretty angry on this game, including me, because uh, there is no challenge in this uh, system. Personally me, I can't take the first time as a training, but the game should give us some challenge. If the next time will be the same, there will be no interest in to play this game, to play this event. If anyone play Guns and Glory, please leave a comment and what if the system in this game familiar like in GOG. I wanna believe that the matchmaking system looks like that because it's a new project, not because it uh, should be like this. I play in a lot of games, including in this genre, but never, never saw something like this. Another problem with the Tidelands is the hospital. The system of the hospital is not optimizing. I'm really curious if there was some better testing of this event because uh, it's impossible to play. Uh, you just don't have 
a hospital in this event. You should be, but you haven't because I sit uh, in three objects, get silver, and after half of the event, a cool hill only a 10,000k of troops. If you are not spender and you don't have like me a million troops, your game will end pretty fast. I don't know what do they scatter and who really should enjoy from this event. There is thunder in the silence. To tell the truth, everyone was really looking forward for this event, including me. And I really wanted to write a full instruction for this event, but with the problem that I described earlier, this is not necessary for now, because the only thing that you need to understand about this event is how to check your opponent list and see if the selection already decides if you lose or win. After a several attack, you will be without the troops, and your game is over. Uh, that's why this video released like that. I'm sure there will be a couple of spenders that will enjoy for the system because they won't uh, get any fight that uh, someone could give them and uh, they just will kill a lot of troops uh, without the losses and will be happy about that. Personal about me and I know that uh, like me we have a few another spenders that think in the same way. I don't see any point at this event right now. Yep, it's funny to kill uh, troops one, twice without any fight, but uh, it's become a boring uh, very fast. Even the main rewards are worthless. You need to make this event 12 times to collect the main reward. To be able to craft the stone. And this I understand, but I can work at this point. This event will be once a month. So maybe in one year you will collect the main reward. All the point that was mentioned in this video will kill the wish of many players to keep playing this game. And this is actually pretty sad because uh, development actually made a few couple of uh, interesting things in the last update. But uh, with all that point that, that I talk uh, about is not allowed to see these uh, good things because uh, the main and the most important part of the game um, released not ready, very raw. I really hope that uh, someone from the developers or even a mo will watch this video and uh, hear my argument because most of the players don't like this update. Uh, first of all we had an update with the graphic that is always hard for the player to accept the changes and few days later we get a broken event that uh, a lot of player was expecting, was excited about it and was really disappointed about how the event is look like. Maybe it was a mistake to release them both at the same time, but what done is done. Uh, now we can only hope that uh, the developer will fix and optimize the event so we could enjoy it and finally get some challenge. Thank you for watching this video guys, I know some of you expect for uh, a detailed guide about uh, the event and what we should do it, but uh, as I said there is no point of that, I still didn't get experience that I need that I could talk about it 100% uh, sure that what I say is a right information, but when the time is come there will be video about this event, so please wait. I really hope that in the next days I could release video in English about the crunch event, uh, we have uh, a new task in this event so uh, it became uh, a little bit more interesting and I want to talk about this uh, and made a video for my uh, players that not uh, speak in Russian and make a video about it. I want to thank the lazy twig team about sharing with some iPhone with me that uh, was helpful for this video. Hello guys and I wish you a lot of patience about all of what happened in this game and thank you to you all. Thank you for uh, watching this video and listen to my broken English. I'm really sorry and hope that it wasn't so painful as I hear it by myself. And I will try to make better for the next time. Thank you very much and have a nice day.